Hey internet, today we're doing a huge art supply haul. If you're not into haul videos, please don't watch this video. But if you're into them and excited like me to explore all of these goodies, let's go on an art adventure. It might be that I have a bit of an art problem here, but I'm super excited. Okay, so first up, it looks like I got some sort of um, wine voucher, which seems super strange for art supplies, but I'll look into that later. And these are all from... And these supplies are all from Jerry's Artorama. They were having a huge sale on um, maybe a bit over a month ago, but then some of the the supplies were back ordered, so some of the supplies were back ordered, and yeah, now they've just wrapped. Okay, so super excited to try this. It's um, gilding gold for some of my watercolor projects, and this is a hint of some of the main stuff to do with this haul. They're um, painting knives because I should hopefully have in here a whole, a whole bunch of supplies to start oil painting for the first time. And I think these are them. Ah, they're huge. Ah, super excited. Okay, so the brand that I got was something like Charvin and the prices were crazy good. They were under $10 a tube, so for oil paints, especially for this size, it's crazy. I'm just hoping they're good quality because I found the sale on with less than an hour to go on the website and then I had to look things up and buy in a real hurry and I'm not familiar with US art supplies or actually I don't even know where these are from. They're made in France, <laughs> this is it on the box, but um, I didn't realize, um, or I've never seen them before and I have never tried oil paints before either, so I'm super excited. Okay, so these are lots and lots of oil paints. And what have we got here? Okay, more oil paints, just a different box. It's the white. Awesome. I just bought basic colors, I, especially because I've never tried oils before, so I'm just going to explore with basics and see if I like doing oil paints. And all of the supplies for the oil paints cost, I think, around $100 total. So that's with the brushes and the paints and the thinner and all that stuff. So. A total bargain for trying out a um, complicated new art style or art supply or art material. Um, so yeah, let's put the okay. I don't even remember buying these things. So um, I guess I got some sort of eraser here. This I do remember buying. I was super excited to try it out. It's for my pencil work. It's the Mona Lisa Odalis Paint Thinner Mineral Spirits. So I'm super happy to have a whole a bunch of that and terpenoid for oil painting for cleaning things up. Ah, oh, cool. And these are all of the long handled oil paint brushes. And they look awesome, and they were super cheap, super happy. And then, okay, so this is what the sale was on for Jerry's. It was the 50th anniversary at Jerry's Artorama. And so, 
They've sent me a little button with the supplies as well, which is cool. And what we got here? Ah, okay, more <laughs> oil paints. So yeah, I got a white, black, yellow, blue, and red, I think. Okay. So I'll lay out all the oil paints for you to see now. So. Okay, red. Ah, oh, burnt umber as well. Yeah, I thought there was one more. And then hopefully blue. Okay, so from what I've heard, that's all the colors that you'll need in oil paints to be able to create um, a whole range of, of um, cool things. And I'm looking forward to trying it out. It'll be in an upcoming video, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the hole for the oil painting supplies from Jerry's Autorama. And then the other little things that I got thrown into that hole were the Mona Lisa um, odorless paint thinner, this eraser, the gilding gold, and this was actually one of the most expensive things. I think it was like close to $20, but all up, everything here was around $100 US, which I think is super cool. Really great price. Okay, next up, I've got some sandpaper. Um, so, I know that you should just sew a canvas, uh, cheaper canvases before you paint on them for oil paints and then smooth them down if you want to. And so, I got this sandpaper for that. And there's sort of an art supply here. I'm super excited to try it out. A new light for my camera. Yay. Oh, this is the diffuser for the camera. Hopefully I can figure out how it will fix up easily. There we go. And yeah, there's the diffuser inside. Ah, here is the Liquitex Basics Gesso for the canvases and Okay, the batteries and charging pack for the camera, which is cool Okay, so lots of camera stuff and the gesso for the oil supplies. Okay, and the gesso goes with a whole bunch of um, canvases that I got on sale at Lick the other day. I have discovered a new store near me and I'm still amazed. I got these huge 16 by 20 canvases for less than $20. There's 
five of them there. So super excited to try out my oil paints with all of them. Yay. Okay, and then while I was at Flick, I also got a palette for the oil paints. I was torn between a glass one and a wood one, and I think I'll regret not getting glass, but this was really cheap, way cheaper. And so for starting off, this will do, and I'll switch to glass if I don't like it, I guess. Oh, I'm super excited to try this. It's aquaboard for watercolors and really firm and looks like something amazing to try out. So I'm super excited to try that. Uh, watercolor color wheel, which was definitely just a splurge purchase, but it was only a couple of dollars. And it's just really handy to have a reference to, even though um, most of this stuff I know pretty well on here, it's just handy to be able to flick to something really quickly and to look at complements and mixes and tints and shades and all that sort of stuff. And then... Okay. Something that I've wanted to try for ages but could never find in Japan. These are the Prismacolor Colorase pencils which everyone seems to have and I'm like the last one on the train to get on board with them but I'm still excited, I don't care. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. I got non-photo blue, dark blue, or just blue, indigo blue, super into blue, uh, violet, carmine red, and green. So let's go play with those, or I'll be able to go play with those soon. And I needed new um, erasers for my Tombow Mono Eraser, which is the best eraser in the world. If you don't have a Tombow Mono Eraser, totally recommend them. I will show you really quickly. I actually have two of these. I love them so much, but this is the Tombow Mono eraser in silver and black and you can also get a white and blue striped version which I have and new erasers for it. Yay. Because mine is totally empty. Some big brushes for doing the gessoing for the watercolors. Okay. Super cheap. I think they were like 50 cents each or something less like less than five dollars for the whole bag. So thanks for joining me on this art haul adventure, guys. To finish off, I thought I'd show you an overview of everything. This is kind of all of the stuff that doesn't fit into a category, like pencil supplies, eraser, color wheel, um, paint thinner, that sort of stuff, and the aqua board for trying out some watercolor techniques with. This is all of the camera supplies. Uh, they're all to do with a camera light. So the camera lights um, in the top right there and then the battery charger for the camera light and the diffuser. And then finally, oil paint supplies. So I've got the large canvases there that were super cheap at Blick for $20 for the five of them. Oil brushes, palette knives, the Charbon oil paints, the Liquitec basics, um, the palette, the brushes, all that sort of great stuff. And as a little bonus to finish off this video, I thought I'd show you sharpening of my uh, new Prismacolor Corey's pencils. And um, thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. If you're interested in my contact, content, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all of that sort of stuff. And if you have gotten some art supplies recently. I'd love to know what they are, so let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about the art supplies that I've just bought, um, please let me know as well in the comments below.
I'll be doing some videos exploring some of these art supplies in upcoming videos, of course, so stay tuned for that. And I've got a bunch of other art supplies that I uh, bought in a hurry just before leaving Japan, and I haven't had a chance to try those out yet either. So you can look forward to um, me trying out a whole range of new media, although um, probably you've figured out that I tend to, to explore watercolours and colour pencils the most often. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another art adventure. Bye!